Hey, hopefully you guys are having a great week. <laughs> hey, what's going on guys? Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm actually writing an offer for a client for a fourplex. And I'm going to give you guys five additional terms that I want you guys to add in your contract so that way you are protected. Uh, one of the terms that I would like you to add in is uh, all deposits to be transferred and conveyed at the close of escrow. The reason why this is important is because once you close on a fourplex, and if a tenant decides to move out and they have a deposit, then they're going to come after you and say, hey, I need that deposit. So you want to make sure what that total amount is. And at the close of escrow, that to be transferred and conveyed over to you. Okay. Uh, tip number two, uh, seller shall provide all lease agreements, property management, if any, and also all the vendors agreements as well. And that's going to be contingent upon the buyer reviewing it Okay, and the reason why this is important is because you want to see what the rents are every single month for each tenant so that way you can run your numbers also you can find out what the deposits are as far as property management if you're not uh, managing it yourself or at, I'm sorry at that time it's being managed uh, through a property management but you plan on managing it yourself you want to see what the terms and conditions are and when is that going to come due Okay, because that's going to play a big factor, especially when you're running and crunching the numbers and you want to make sure you're getting that ROI that you are expecting. Also, in addition to that, the vendors, you want to see if they're using landscapers or if there's vending machines, and you want to see what those agreements and terms of the conditions are between you and that vendor once you get that property conveyed over to you. Uh, number four, your due diligence period. What I like to do is your due diligence period to actually be conducted after the appraisal process is complete uh, when you hire an appraisal and this the reason why this is important is because uh, you don't want to spend the money on the appraisal and something comes back with the appraisal where it doesn't meet the guidelines or the price and this is only if you are financing okay so it's best to start it after the appraisal and all the contingencies have been met based upon that appraisal now the reason why I like to do that is because if something comes up and we can't address those issues between buyer and seller, at that point you can cancel out of the deal and receive your earnest money deposit back. Okay, And that way you'll save more money versus doing the uh, inspection to the property first. You spend the money, you know, five, six hundred bucks, whatever the inspection is, you're good with the inspection, now you're moving on to the appraisal, then something comes up where you can't um, get the deal done between you and the seller because there's something wrong with the property and the seller just doesn't have the money to fix those items. So that's a, a, the best way to actually save um, you know, money as best as possible. Number five, uh, contingents upon interior inspection. And the reason why this is very important is because probably about 99% of the time, the owner of the property will not allow you to go look inside the property physically until they actually have an offer fully executed and the reason why is because they don't want to disturb the tenants okay so we always put this verbiage in so that way once the contract is fully executed at that point you can go in take a look and the nice thing about that is it's contingent upon interior inspection so if you don't even do an interior inspection you know five six days after um, you go under contract that just gives you a clause to get out. So basically, the way these are written is really to protect you at the end of the day, and it allows you to do all your due diligence to make sure that you got your ROI that you are looking for. So that's all I have for today. Until next time, have a great day.